cookies, cakes, truffles, freak shakes. Today we are stirring up recipes for the kids at heart with no bake Oreo cheesecake bites, Oreo chocolate freak shakes piled high with mountains of treats. Then we'll show you how to make a recycled bag out of an oversized t-shirt and how to use t-shirts to transition your wardrobe from winter to spring on the next episode. Presented by the Sui Hero Electric Inc. Aloha, I'm Valerie Joseph with Fashion Sense. Reselling runway looks to the walkways of Hawaii and providing smart solutions to all your fashion needs. of Orioles. Who's not a fan of them, right? If you are, you are going to love this Oreo bite recipe. It takes just three ingredients and it looks so pretty on a platter. So I love making them just as easy as they are to make. They're super easy to eat. Okay, let's get to the recipe. First, we're going to add Orioles in our food processor and we're going to grind it down to a crumble. Now, this is about 38 Orioles, but Who's counting, right? Just remember, if you add more Oreos, that you also adjust the rest of the ingredients in your recipe. Okay, let's get this to a crumble. Well, that was quick. All right, I'm gonna put it back in the bowl it came from. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Ooh, can't waste a thing. Now I'm going to mix in some cream cheese and this has been sitting out at room temperature so it's nice and soft. So we're just going to fold that into the Oreo crumb mixture that we just did. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Yum. <laughs> well, that's what I get for smelling things. You know, I love to smell things, right? Just going to make sure we scrape every last bit. Now this step is also really fun to get the kids involved. You can put on some gloves and just act like you're playing with your food, but you're actually making the Oreo bite mixture. All right, you guys, this is looking so yummy. I could probably just eat spoonfuls of them straight out of the bowl. Okay, let's make our bites. Make sure you line a baking sheet with parchment paper. And I'm gonna take a tablespoon to measure out the size of my bites. And this is also a really fun step to do with the kids. Guys, I am so excited. This was so fun to do, right? And it's gonna get more fun. Okay, now what you're gonna need to do is place this baking sheet into the freezer for about 15 minutes so they're nice and firm. Okay, so now we've got our frozen Oreo bites. We've got our melted dark chocolate and all our fun toppings. Now it's time to dip, dip, dip. And I like picking them up with a fork just so I can just get the chocolate covered over the entire bite. Okay, now that we've dipped these completely, I'm gonna drizzle the rest with the chocolate. It's like a food art. It's so cool. Now, here's another fun part that you can get creative with the kids, is pick and choose your toppings. I am going to add some crushed almonds to some. I'm feeling like a dessert chef, pastry chef. I'm gonna add some coconut flakes. 
Let's add some chocolate sprinkles. We're just gonna add some white morsels. Next, what you wanna do is set this in the refrigerator for about an hour so everything gets nice and firm and chilled. All right, you guys, look how beautiful they are. I told you they'd be really pretty on a platter. Now, y'all know I need to take a bite and I am going to bite into the chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. I'm in chocolate heaven. You guys, don't go away. We've got more chocolate recipes ahead. Stay with us. We wanted something total building automation. We chose Light Cloud because of that reason. Our future is to be totally off grid. I'm Daryl Suhiro, president of the Suhiro Electric Inc. We are using Light Cloud to control all of our lighting and we were able to integrate it with our mechanical system, which controls our AC system and our exhaust fan in our restrooms and the warehouse ventilation. Our favorite feature is being able to totally control every light fixture in this warehouse. Summarizing Light Cloud, total building lighting automation. Welcome back. Are you ready to get your freak on? Like cookies and cream, Oreos and ice cream make the perfect combination. Today, we are making a chocolate Oreo freak shake. That's right, I said freak shake. Freak shakes are a messy Australian milkshake that is packed with mountains of treats. It's overindulgent, over the top, and a treat that any kid would be a master at. So the ingredients are anything that you and your kids can dream up in a cup. Let's get started. First, what I'm gonna do is drizzle some chocolate sauce on the inside of our cups. And you know, guys, this is a freak shake. So, if things start dripping on the outside of the cup, if things start getting messy, that is the fun of it. I mean, we want it messy. We want it to just look like a bunch of fun exploded in a cup. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I am going to line the rim of the glasses with some frosting. And I love using the ready-made frosting in a bag because it's just more convenient. And we are just going to be very generous with it all along the edge of your glasses. Now I'm going to roll it into some of these cute little pearls. These are cute little pastel candy balls. We're just gonna gently roll. Make sure we get as much candy on the rim as possible. Oh. Okay, now it doesn't stop there, you guys. I'm gonna add, oh look, I got frosting on my Hmm. I'm adding chocolate chips to the wrap. Ooh. Ooh. And that's how it starts to get freaky looking. It's just gonna start to get overloaded. It's going to be over the top. I'm telling you, the kids will have so much fun doing that. Mm. Fun for us too, right? Mm. Mm. All right, now we're gonna mix our milkshake. I'm adding two scoops of cookies and cream ice cream into our blender. And you can use any ice cream of your choice. Get creative. I just had one more scoop. Oh, I'm causing a big mess here. Oh, I'm having too much fun. Okay. Throwing in some Oreos just because. And then I'm gonna add about 13 ounces of chocolate milk. And this is my new obsession, guys. This is oat milk. No dairy, no nuts, no gluten, lots of chocolate taste. Chocolate oat milk. Oh my goodness. 
right, well, let's mix this up here. Okay, now before we pour ourselves a milkshake, I am gonna add another scoop of ice cream into our cups. Just because I wanna get freaky like that. Woo! Now we're gonna add our milkshake. Now we are gonna pile it high with some whipped cream. Oh, let's add more Oreos. Just because. <laughs> now we'll pile it high with some whipped cream. Oh. Ah. Mm. Next I'm gonna skewer some marshmallows. You guys, I found some chocolate stuffed marshmallows. I mean, that is perfect for these freak shakes. Get two of these guys on here. Oh, don't they look like a masterpiece? <laughs> I'm super excited about them. This is probably the best type of milkshake to make. All right, now I'm gonna add another Oreo. Let's do more. Look at that. More Oreos, you guys. Mm -mm -mm. All right. And of course, this is over the top, overindulgent. Let's get some coconut flakes going. Making it messy and fun. Let's get some sliced almonds on there. Making it messy and fun. And heck, let's add more of those little candy balls. I mean, okay, here's a warning, guys. The kitchen might get a little messy, but that's so fun. All right. I'm adding a spoon to scoop up all that goodness. A cute straw to drink all that oat milk milkshake. Oh, look, you guys. Oreo chocolate. Rick shake. All right. Mm. Mm. You guys have to make this. Mm. Remember, if you want to see any of our recipes, head to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com. I'm definitely going to indulge. Don't go away. We've got more fun ahead. Hawaiian Coffee Body Scrubs. Moisturizing, rejuvenating, energizing, beautiful. Handmade in Hawaii with aloha. Coco Java. You can do something about COVID numbers rising. Protect yourself by standing apart. Moreover, you're protecting others through social distancing. Combined with the mask, six feet of distancing makes it hard for the virus to spread. Let's not scramble this up. Don't be the one with egg on your face. Protect our eye now. Welcome back. Here's a few DIY ideas to repurpose your comfy old t-shirt. First, we're gonna make an edgy statement tee. So what you'll need for this is a comfy old t-shirts and make sure that you select one that's a solid color or if you have one with a graphic print be sure the graphic print is at the back of the shirt and not at the front because we don't want to compete with the design that we're going to create then you're going to need some safety pins a water soluble ink pen now you can get these at any drugstore and you're going to need a ruler 
Next, you want to think about a word that you want to create on the front of your t-shirt. Make sure it's something that safety pins can recreate. I have a simple but meaningful word that I'd like to recreate on our t-shirt. You're going to take your ruler and your soluble ink pen and we're going to make a box with tick marks on the front of our t-shirt and this is going to just give us a guide on where to place the word that we're going to recreate and don't worry about the blue ink because it's a water soluble ink pen which means it disappears with water watch this let me show you how fun i loved it this is like the best part create your box we're going to take some safety pins and we're going to create that word that we want to spell out in the front of our t-shirt now be careful this might take a bit of time but it's I find it very therapeutic anytime you create something it's so nice and therapeutic so go ahead and just start creating now later in the fashion segment I'll show you the finished product of this edgy statement tee the next idea that I have is how to make a reusable tote bag out of a comfy old tee. This is where having a graphic print is better. And in fact, the bigger the shirt, the better. Because the bigger the shirt, the bigger the bag, the more shopping you can do, right? So we're gonna start with a really big oversized comfy old tee. You're gonna need a scissors for this and make sure you use a fabric cutting scissors and not just a regular all-purpose scissors. You'll find that fabric cutting scissors cuts lines on fabric much more cleaner and it'll be quicker for your project as well. We're also going to need a white chalk pen. Now you can use a white chalk pen or you can use a white chalk block and these you can also get from your drugstore. So the first thing you wanna do is we're gonna cut away at our sleeves. And then we wanna cut along the neckline, so we wanna remove the trim of the neckline here. Then we also wanna cut away the bottom edge or the bottom hem of your t-shirt here. Next, what we wanna do is we're going to take your ruler about six to eight inches from the armhole to the bottom of the shirt. Take your chalk pencil, or your chalk block, whatever you prefer, either one works. And we're gonna create tick marks across the bottom of the shirt. So just across about eight inches down. And this is just chalk, so this too is going to disappear when we rub it together. And then we're also gonna create tick marks from the bottom of that line to the bottom of the t-shirt. And you're gonna create tick marks every half an inch. Now this is gonna create a really cool fringe design of your recycled bag. So this is what it looks like when we've cut away along the sleeves, along the neckline, and at the bottom of the shirt. Let me show you what it should look like. Once you cut the fringe design from the line to the edge, to finish it off is you're gonna take the front and the back piece of each fringe and just tie them in a knot. And then you're gonna do that all the way across. And that's gonna close up the bottom of your bag. Now when we come back, we'll take a look at how to fashionably wear the LWT, the little white tee. Welcome back, friends. For today, our goal is to focus on progress over perfection. We're gonna be learning something new and it is a popular contemporary floor work dance movement. It's called the kip. We're gonna start in a prone position, bellies to the floor. Join me. Now, we're gonna extend our arms and then you're gonna draw them in, bringing the elbows very close to your body. Palms are positioned at chest level. So tuck those arms in. Now from here, you're gonna press your weight into the palms and drive the knees in. And return. Press through the palms, shift the legs back. Let's do that again. 
elbows in, press through the palms, drive the knees in with the core. Good, that's the first part. So let's go ahead and return to starting position. All right, we're gonna take this up a notch. We're still gonna drive one knee to the chest. The back leg here is gonna bend, heel's gonna come towards the bum, and then lengthen. And, shall we? Press, bring it in. Return to starting. Let's do that again. Elbows in, one knee drives in, the other back leg, heel to the bum, then extend. Let's do the other side and speed it up just a little bit, okay? Here we go. And down. And again, press, drive the elbows in, use the core and... I hope you have fun with this as you get it into your body. And just remember, it's about progress over perfection. And always be kind to your body. Welcome back. There are so many pretty things that bloom during spring, even in fashion. Luckily, we live in Hawaii. Our weather doesn't drastically change from season to season, so our wardrobe doesn't have to. Did you know that winter started on December 19, 2020 and goes through March 19 of 2021? So technically, we're still in the winter season. So it might be a good time to start thinking of how to extend your wardrobe. And thank you to one of our viewers, Adrian, who emailed and asked how to extend your wardrobe from winter to spring. And guys, if you have a fashion question that you'd like us to answer, head to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com. Well, it's easier than you think to transition your wardrobe from winter to spring by simply swapping out a few items and replacing them. One item that's easy to inject is an item that we've all been comfortable wearing. T-shirts. Here's a few examples. A-line skirts are so versatile because you can dress them up, dress them down, take them from day to night by simply swapping out your pieces. So for winter, I paired this dark printed A-line skirt with a black ruffle crop top, pulled it together with some black sandals that has cute pearl embellishments. And then I finished it with a gold shoulder purse. Here's how to take this look from winter to spring. We swapped out the dark colored ruffle top for a light colored graphic t-shirt. Swapped out the black heels for light colored wedges. Wedges are platform sandals that are great if you're looking for a little bit of height. The cork wedge instantly says you're stepping into spring. I also swapped out the dainty gold shoulder bag for a light colored crossbody. Brocade fabrics are a little thicker in weight and they have a lot of other different threads through them. So sometimes you'll see them with metallic threading. So you'll see beautiful prints. I paired this beautiful brocade skirt with a black top, chunky metallic heels, and finished with a velvet burgundy clutch. Here's how you can transition it. I swapped out the black top for a white graphic t-shirt, swapped out the chunky metallic heel for a chunky brown leather one. Then I layered it with a light colored washed denim jacket. Denim always feels a little bit more casual and more spring. Swapped out the velvet clutch for a light colored brain handbag. Another fabric that you'll see during the winter months are vegan leather. So for winter, I paired this vegan leather skirt with black turtleneck some black booties. And I love that these ankle boots are quilted. Finished it off with a black fringe clutch and a burgundy velvet hat. Now, let me show you how you can take this vegan leather skirt from winter to spring. 
start by replacing the black turtleneck top with a cream colored t-shirt. And I love the message across this t-shirt that translates to hope. Next, we'll swap out the black ankle boot for the brown leather chunky heels. We're also going to swap out our fringe clutch for a white feather shoulder bag. So we replaced the fringe with a different texture, something that's a little more lighter, like the feathers. And last, we swapped out the burgundy hat for a camel colored one. Hello, spring! And you all know I love wearing velvet any time of year. For winter, I paired this hunter green suit with a cute lace bralette underneath, added some chunky gold heels, finished with some fun gold rhinestone earrings, and I love that these say amour, love, and a gold mesh purse. Here's how you can easily transition this velvet piece from winter to spring. We replaced the lace bralette with a white t-shirt and swapped out the velvet jacket for a blush colored cape style. We added some texture with a fringe necklace and replaced the gold chunky heels for the brown chunky leather ones. Sparkles and beads. I paired this beaded tank top with vegan leather pants. The little heels draped even more texture over my shoulders with a black fringe jacket and finished with a fun sparkly clutch. Now here's another idea of how you can transition this vegan leather pants from winter to spring. Let's replace the beaded top for a white graphic t-shirt. Swap out the black stilettos and add the sparkles in our heels. Replace the sequins clutch with a fun wrist bag. So there you have it. Go ahead and have some fun in your closet and start experimenting with your outfits. The key is to swap out heavier textures for lighter ones and darker colors for brighter ones. Do this and you'll find that you'll be able to easily extend the life of your wardrobe from winter to spring. I hope you enjoyed our show. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, find us on Instagram and Facebook, or head to our website. And if you have a favorite no-cook recipe, mocktail, or hack, send them my way. We'd love to share them on the show. Let's stay connected. Until next time, be fabulous, be beautiful, be the best version of you. This is hurting my hands. Like literally, I could just eat these balls. As is. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing, because they're delicious. I use shaving cream as whipped cream. <laughs>